This is actually the first time I work with National Ballet, but it isn't the first time I work with a ballet company. Uh, the first time was in 2004, was when I worked with uh, uh, the Ballet of Monte Carlo. And I've, I've had a couple of experiences with uh, ballet companies. I think every three years I usually work with a company. So when Ted invited me to work on this one, I was uh, delighted because it, was, it had been a long time since I had been working uh, with a ballet company. What I find really fascinating with working with ballet is, of course, uh, the, the extreme discipline in specific rules that are being kept in how to move a body, how to move your head with your arm, how to move your leg, how to keep your foot. All these things are really um, fascinating for me as a choreographer, as a human being, yes. as a dancer. Uh, but of course I have my own rules, I have my own way of uh, perceiving how how something should uh, go up, how an arm should go up, and where it should come from. It's definitely uh, always going to be a meeting point between how they, um, uh, their own discipline with my discipline and how it goes together. So I'm, I'm not only interested in making them move like me, I'm also interested in learning how they, are, they move, how they themselves see the movement. In terms of uh, how the piece is evolving. It's always really hard to talk about the creation when you're in the middle of the creation. Um, I feel we are uh, at a place, we are at a certain place with it, but it's, I also feel like there's a lot still to achieve, there's a lot still to master and to understand uh, for them in terms of how the, the flow of the energy and the movement should go. And for me, uh, how the structure can be set up for this piece. Um, it's very obviously a labyrinth for all of us. I mean, we're really kind of trying to, to find the center. Right now, the work uh, really rotates around the women a lot, around the, the, the dancers. Uh, what I've tried to do with the girls is have them all relate differently to the men around uh, uh, them and then maybe find that life is just that, having different ways of handling what's around you. And um, at the very end of the ballet, I think I'm trying to go for almost like a um, a galaxy, some sort of flow of energy that keeps on uh, feeding itself, where everything is a copy of everything, like every move is just repeated, but they are repeated in such a fashion that you still feel like everything is is different, uh, like they're like fractals. Uh, one movement goes and then it becomes two movements and then it becomes another two and they, like, it, they just keep on um, uh, imitating themselves till eternity, so it becomes some sort of big uh, galaxy uh, flow. The piece starts with a solo, with uh, Nadia, who's all alone. She's casting a spell, creating a space, all on her own. And I think that is the contrast of the end of the piece, where everybody is together. So there's some sort of thing about you, the, uh, the unit and the universe. Uh, how, how they relate. Um, so those are a bit my, uh, my obsessions at this point uh, with the creation.